welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So last episode, what I worked on was getting this all set up. We don't have it actually working at the moment, but um, we'll go ahead and set this up to uh, forever. And that will allow us to produce a bunch of, um, what do you call it, honey. And I think there's wax that comes with that. So... Uh, someone will come around and do that. We're also building a house over here. I'll take a little bit of time to do for our brand new sever settler, uh, 11th one. So it's going to be a while until we can get everything set up. You know, actually, we have a few smiths. We don't have armor for her, but uh, she's a great bowsman um, from what I remember. Uh she has a fine bow, so... Um, let's see here. Marksmanship. Uh, 12. So that's pretty good for um, someone that just joins the settlement. She's also got good culinary and medicine. Uh, those are two of the things that she really enjoys doing. And then there's also mining and smithing. Mining's pretty good, 16. We have better miners, but given that she's brand new, that's understandable. So I was thinking about getting her some some armor and stuff like that, because we don't really have any spare armor, per se. I'm pretty sure we don't, at least. Um, at least nothing good, like melee or anything like that. Looks like there's absolutely nothing in the war thing, so they probably all smelted it down. All right, so let's go ahead and just... Um, Take a look at what we have. We have um, male helmets and um, male armor. I need to figure out uh, what I need to do for setting this all up. 25 or 75. Flimsy. Okay, so we, we should be able to um, create something like that. We just need something to store it in. I think we unlock some stuff though, if I remember correctly. What was it? Was it under... Can't remember if it was in here. So that, no, that's chests, uh, armor. Yeah, there we go. We can place one of these down to the armor stands, and we can keep some spare armor. Uh, we'll tell them to build that. He's refueling. Uh, I don't know where. Okay, Sylvester, can you actually build one of these? That way it has something to go on. And...
great. So we got our apple trees growing. Looks like there's some other ones that are growing with it. We probably should chop those down just for spare saplings. Um, yeah, so apparently we weren't harvesting our crops and <laughs> Fatal mistake. I had no one actually have high priority for harvesting, so I reassigned North to do the harvesting and stuff since he has the highest skill level. And he's been doing a pretty good job. I had to tell him to harvest these because they're already going to seed, but um, yeah, like the carrots, I guess, now too. But we got majority of them harvested before they went to seed, so that's not too bad. Um,. Yeah, outside of that, it's just been, we got the house built, um, Sadler's got their own bed and, uh, room now, so running really out of spaces to build houses, though, so hopefully when we get that, uh, section of wall done. Now, I was going to start over here, and then I realized last night, after I was editing and watching the video over just to see what I, I did that day, because it, it does kind of blur into an entire thing, and it's always good to recap while you're editing and stuff, see what, what's gone on and stuff. But um, I figured it's more logical to build the farthest away point, and then slowly work along these walls. And then by the time we get to this part here, it will be easier to get back to the, the base and stuff if we need to. So that's the idea, at least. Um, slowly started to get them to start building this part and I'll take some time I think but um, it'll be way better um, I'm leaving this ramp here for now uh, mainly well actually you know what we probably don't even need to remove it because it just goes down here and we'll have that part there so um, the other thing that we should probably pay attention to though is when we do get to finishing this part we need to start considering okay do we fence this off or do we go ahead and actually just allow them to run along this part right here because that's got that might make the, a little bit of a difference uh when it comes down to getting back to the gate or not and i'm not sure if it's going to make a huge difference per se right so um because if we fill this in then it might not really matter too much because they can just go along here but it really depends where the bandits spawn like if they spawn up here then it might not be too big of a problem but depending on who's building too i mean some of these people that are building have really heavy armor so it's just kind of something we have to take in consider <laughs>
right, so I ended up placing some of these little parts around here. Uh, they're wood piles, but there's only single ones. They're higher, higher, highest priority. So basically, as soon as they get over to here, hopefully it will save them the trip of having to go all the way back over to here, getting the wood, and then going all the way back to the location to place a few more additional things. Uh, it'll be a, basically like a little checkpoint where they can basically get resources for building the wall and I placed a few of them around the exterior of the wall pretty distant from each other so there's one over here uh, another one over here and uh, I think there was a few along here as well so one there and then one over here just so it will go a little bit faster when they're actually building the exterior wall and stuff like that and then once it's on the interior it won't be as big of an issue to go ahead and build, but I, I figured it would probably be best to have them set up in such a way that they'll be able to quickly build everything and stuff like that. So that's at least the goal. Um, I've done it in the past with this kind of size of build, so I, I'm pretty sure it will work pretty good. I did, I did get the wall built a lot faster when I did it that way in my other save, so um, hopefully that will um, get them a little bit further with production for building this. All right, so I did want to go ahead. I have decided of what I'm going to do, and if they're going to be over on this side, then chances are they'll probably be able to just run along here anyways and into the gate. So I'm not too worried about them uh, getting blocked out from this part. So we'll go ahead and branch this off and just set up the walls for this part so we can get the decoration and all set up so we know where the pillars are and then uh, that should be good for a little bit don't want to overload them with the building tasks and stuff either because then they won't get other things done that we need I'm actually surprised that they got the bed built and everything like that to begin with. So, um, oh, and there's another thing that we still need to do is upgrade all these beds as well. So, uh, oh, we did get some uh, beeswax. Does that decompile? Yes, it decomposes in a few days. All right, uh, we need to put that in cold storage then, I think. Uh, let's see here. Uh, can we, by any chance, get this set up for materials, raw materials? Guys, we got lots of stuff done today. We got um, 
what did we get? We got a lot of the trees planted. That was one of the highest priorities. We got our crops uh, sorted out. So there's somebody actually harvesting now, which is very important for our production. And we got a house built for our settler, as well as moved the barley into the basement here. We have a little bit of barley left. Um, I ended up using it for trading for an advanced research table from these guys. They're currently visiting and I bought out their gold as well. So there's that. I sold them a cow, uh, which was like 50 coins or something like that. So, uh, we will need to eventually build a new library. So this one's pretty much getting at capacity on the second level. Um, it's okay for the size. It's detail is pretty good as well but um, we're gonna need definitely more room for that now I could build an expansion onto it that would be an option or I could just design an entire new building but if we're going to design an entire new building then we're going to need uh, to figure out where we're gonna be putting it and get that wall done because we need more room in order to do that so um, yeah one step at a time but uh, We'll see how it turns out. We got those uh, logs in place, so it shouldn't take too, too long in order to build an exterior wall at the very least. And then we can start focusing in on getting some other stuff. Now, if we were to actually change some of the priority for their jobs and stuff like that, we could probably get the wall done in a couple days, but... Um We'll see what we can come up with. I'm not sure what we need. We still need some people gardening and stuff. And I want to get a couple people with better armor. Well, not better, but like lower grade armor. Right now they're wearing, uh, Sylvester's wearing like plated armor, which is really heavy. And it, it kind of makes him run really slowly. So he, being a builder and everything like that, he's putting himself at risk going out there. But, um... If we give them male armor, then it should be a little bit better. But that's for our next episode. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the deal. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.